I'm in bed, about to go to bed after a long day. Um, I'm pretty sick. I haven't been this sick in a long time, but I just wanted to share a couple of things today that happened that um, made me know that I was loved. So my four-year-old was just so bored. Dad's downstairs sick, kids were other places, and so he wanted to play Battleship. So I laid down on the floor to play Battleship with him, and he said, you can go first because you're sick. <laughs> That's a big deal for him because he likes to win and go first and win. So that was really cute. And he had kept asking me if I felt better. He's four. Do you feel, do you feel better? And I said, no, not yet. About hugs making me feel better. So a couple times he just randomly came up and hugged me. I said, I'm going to go and do this and then I'm going to come back and give you a hug. And I thought it was so cute. Um, Nine o'clock this morning, my neighbor's knocking on the door, brought a loaf of bread. Then she came back with soup. That was so sweet. You don't realize, like, when you just are totally down and out, you can't fend for yourself, let alone anybody else in the house. So to have some food, especially coming off a of vacation where there's not been food in the house is, was a blessing. Um, my mom, thank goodness for moms, right? Oh, man. She came down with a bowl of soup. She stopped at the grocery store, got us Gatorades and other things that we needed and then she went back home and made more soup and brought pizza for the kids for dinner and came back down like she spent her whole day helping to take care of me and even though I'm an adult it just reminds me that you just as a mom you just always love your kids and so I'm grateful for that and I know that some people don't have a mom that they're gone but guess what my mom was represented for all the other moms today she showed up for me and I totally totally believe that just because a mother may have passed on it doesn't mean that she can't still be involved in your life and that there is parenting beyond the veil or you know through the other side my brother's wife's grandpa just recently passed away and um, I went to the funeral and Elder Nelson who is one of the 12 apostles of our church which is so cool to have living apostles that can receive revelation from God like that's pretty cool in this day and age and he said that there is parenting through the veil. And so, anyways, I just thought that was really cool and comforting. Um, but my 11-year-old spent the day helping and getting me anything I needed and taking care of my 4-year-old and just had a lot of people show love through service today. So I'm so grateful for all of them and grateful to feel the love.